Welcome back guys, I am Primus, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how I build the medieval roads in my city breakwater. If you want to see any of the actual roads that I've built, just click on this link here, I'll put a little annotation, and it'll take you over to a little site, or a little video for my um, city. So anyway, I'm just going to show you guys how to build some roads. First thing I like to do is just dig a little hole, and then I actually just randomize it just dig it out like this I prefer to be at ground level when I go up in the air things just get weird I would say so now that we have that I just fill the entire thing in with stone just smooth stone plain smooth stone nothing fancy just like this and we're gonna make it look a lot nicer later but this is pretty much how you want the framework to go. So as you can see there, we've got a little pathway. Super boring and stuff. Now, I want to go and curve it around and move it up this hill. So, what I gotta do is simply get in my ground hole and just start random, <laughs> randomly digging my way here. Like, I'm just spam clicking. It doesn't matter what I hit. As long as it doesn't look straight, I think, is a big factor because it's it's more of a pathway, but it needs to be worn and really just battered. So, as we go up here, now, I will just fill this in before I move on to the next part, which will be going up this hill. And going up hills is a little bit more tricky than just going on flat, obviously. So, I want to give you guys a demonstration just so you guys can see how I do that and... Um, it doesn't look quite as nice as the regular terrain, but something to work on, I guess. So, just got to fill all of this in with smooth stone, and we'll go back and change a lot of this and make it look a lot nicer, and obviously more medieval because this looks like, uh, some guy went in with, like, a, uh, MC Edit brush and just decided to destroy the landscape with stone. Uh, okay, so what you want to do is just dig out some of the hill here. Obviously, we gotta do our little randomy thing. Fill in some more of this. This I'll usually do actually above ground and not like in my little hole technique. Um, you really want to go with the landscape on this, because otherwise it'll look a little bit funky. Like this, I might even replace it with a grass block. Just keep this going right up this hill. Fill all of this in with stone. And I think hop in the ground here. And I think we can just end the road right here. Alright. There we go. That's pretty much all the framework for it. Now we got just have to go in and add some more detail. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is edit the shape of our road. We basically just want to make it thicker and look a little bit more natural so I might get rid of this here I might add a little stone there basically just to make it more free-flowing and a little bit less random so I'm gonna add some stone here and you do you do want to keep some grass grass blocks in there especially towards the edges you can actually get rid of that one it just makes it look a little bit more worn out like the uh, nature has come back to reclaim it so as you can see there just gotta leave a little bit diagonals are really important in this kind of stuff because you can see if I go like say this that doesn't look very good but if I went like that it looks a lot more natural I'm actually just gonna fill that in I don't want any grass there now here is going to be a little bit of an awkward place, so I actually just want to fill that in with stone, like so. And I basically just breeze over it and look for any places that look like they're too thin, like say here, and just thicken them up just a little bit to make them seem a little bit more like the rest of the road. Now that we've done that, let's go in and add the detail to the road itself. So what I like to start to do is with stone bricks. So I'll just go through. Add, I actually usually add a lot of these 
to make it seem like this was once a stone brick road and then it kind of corroded into what it is now again using diagonals is important you do want to have some straight blocks but you shouldn't make them too big I think is the major factor playing here so as you can see here I'm using a lot of diagonals I'm not using many 90 degree angles and I just go through and add a lot of this stuff okay like so and it is nice to connect them but you don't have to so it's just like you want to go through and make sure there's a decent amount of stone brick there because there's actually stuff that we want to go in and do to the stone brick later like so and really the key is just make it as random as possible it doesn't have to be perfect because random isn't perfect so say add something there now we want to go through and add some cracked brick to any areas that may be um, stone brick now you don't want to do it for everything or it'll look too ordinary and not random and when you do something like this it doesn't look super good you want to do it in a formation of stone brick Oop, that's not right like so go through add that say let's add one there add one there and I think I'm gonna actually gonna leave that area intact after we finish with the stone bricks it's really just a little bit more detail work towards the edges of the road I like to add a lot of gravel make it seem like it's in the process of being just degenerated I'll put some in the middle just to make it seem a little bit more balanced say there and there but it's really up to you when it comes to where you want to put this stuff I think it looks a lot better near the edge and near grass but that's obviously an opinion so we'll just go through and add a lot of gravel now one thing I like to do that looks really different is add double half slabs into this so something like that just throw them in there it's all gotta be random it's basically gotta look like a little uh, pot of blocks because this thing has been through who knows what no one knows what's been going on here so just throw down some of these like that it doesn't matter where you put these whether it's towards the edge in the middle it doesn't matter you don't want to use too many of them but definitely include them in there now to make this seem a little bit more professional we want to add stairways so what I like to do for that is add the um, the stone slab nothing fancy there and just go around like that now what I'll do is I'll go through and add a stone brick slab to any areas that I think could use some so just kind of mix it up a little bit um, it doesn't really matter about this part you don't want to overextend this though say put another one there because that looks a little bit awkward you want to make sure that there are stone blocks on almost all the sides of this say we don't have one here but it's okay because it's centered around these blocks this one's cornered cor cor by that and you really just kinda wanna make a little cocoon or a little cave for these little blocks here and then it looks like a nice little road that is all I have for today my name is Primus I hope you enjoyed please leave a comment in the comment section below telling me how I can improve what I can do better and hopefully we will see you guys next time